Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at MobileMe's Back to My Mac. So one of the features I like most about MobileMe is called Back to My Mac and allows you to connect to your Mac when you're away from home or from work. For instance, if you have a MacBook and you're traveling and you want to connect to your iMac at home, you can use MobileMe to quickly and easily get access through screen sharing or file sharing. To use Back to My Mac, the first thing you need is to have a MobileMe account and to enable it for both Macs, the remote one and the one at home or at work. So you do that in the System Preferences, you enter in your member name and your password and you do that for both Macs. Then of course you need to turn on sharing for the Mac that you're connecting to. You want to turn on both screen sharing and file sharing to take full advantage of Back to My Mac. So the other thing you're going to need is a compatible router. At home you probably use maybe an Airport Extreme or a Time Capsule or maybe a router from D-Link or Linksys. Most modern routers will allow the computer to connect through the router to MobileMe and tell MobileMe exactly where it's located. This way when you try to log on to it, your remote computer, your MacBook, will ask MobileMe where that computer is located and then will go through your router to your computer at home. And this will work even if you have a dynamic IP address like most people have that's changing constantly. MobileMe keeps an updated address for that home Mac so MobileMe can just connect you to it using Back to My Mac. Once you've signed in to MobileMe, you'll have a Back to My Mac tab and you can have it turned on. You can also stop it. You can also go directly to the sharing preferences right here. So here's where Back to My Mac really shines. In the finder and the sidebar here, you've got your local devices and you also have shared devices. Now you can see I've got two computers there that are shared on my local network. The great thing is with Back to My Mac, these will appear even when I'm away from the office. So I could be traveling in the other side of the world, connect to the internet, and after a few seconds under shared devices will appear my home and office Macs. Now if I click on one of these, it will show the connecting feature right here and it will connect to it as the default, in this case guest. I can also click connect as and it will allow me to connect and do a ID and password. I can also click on share screen and it will start screen sharing and allow me to connect with the ID and password. Now you can do file sharing and screen sharing from anywhere in the world without Back to My Mac. But you need to know the IP address of the computer you're connecting to. You also have to tell the router to forward screen sharing and or file sharing to the proper Mac. So there's a lot of tech set up. And then if your IP address changes, you've got to update it. With Back to My Mac, it takes all that work out of it and not only that, but puts it in the sidebar of your finder so you don't even have to mess with any settings at all. Now, if you have a firewall in place, like say you have one at work, you've got to make sure certain ports are open up and Apple gives you that information. But this is rare for most users. Usually Back to My Mac just simply works if you have a compatible router and you just turn it on for both machines. And also remember that screen sharing and file sharing through Back to My Mac is very secure. It's all encrypted so you don't have to worry about security or privacy issues. Back to My Mac is also a great way to provide tech support to other family members. You can simply have them set up their machines with your MobileMe account so that you can then get access via screen sharing and show them how to do something or fix something that's not quite right on their Mac. If you want to know more about screen sharing, take a look all the way back at episode 77. It allows you to see and control the screen of another Mac either on your local network or on a completely different network, perhaps halfway around the world. So Back to My Mac is an invaluable tool for those of us that have a laptop and a desktop Mac and travel a lot. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.